Hello, welcome to Beth Roars, where we look at your favourite singers to find out what makes them them. Before we start, you can find me on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. My handle is at Beth Roars and I hold loads of votes on my Instagram so you guys can vote on who I react to. Also, please do check out my Patreon, which is patreon.com slash Beth Roars, where you can get some more exclusive content. You can get early access to my podcast and you can also find out a little bit more about my scholarship fund for aspiring artists. And at the moment, all my reactions are podcast themed. Now, this one is Postmodern Jukebox because one of my guests is Morgan James, who sings for Postmodern Jukebox. And... um, you guys have asked for actually this this video quite a lot, this video of Puddle's Petty Party. So let's go. I've never seen a diamond in the flesh. I cut my teeth on wedding rings. Torn up town, no post could envy. The singer behind Puddle's Pity Party is Michael Geyer, and yes, he is that tall. He comes from a family of people who are all over six foot tall, so I'm sure I would look absolutely ridiculous standing next to him. Now, he either sings as Michael or as Puddle's Pity Party. He considers them as two completely separate characters, which is really interesting. But every song's like gold teeth, grey goose, tripping in the bathroom, bloodstains, ball gowns, trash in the hotel room. We don't and of care. course they both have this wonderful We're baritone voice. In our dreams, but everybody's like crystal main back, diamonds on your time. You know what, he has a really great clarity and tone. Although his voice is a warm baritone, it really, really punches through and it has that real crispness to it. And you can hear all those consonants. So what people often do is kind of mumble through singing and that works in lots of styles like grunge, for example. But this has this real bite and clarity to it that's almost theatrical or musical theater. Slides. It's so open, it's almost operatic. Blood! It's the blood! It's not closed, his mouth is really open. You can see that kind of round shape he's making on those high notes. Blood! And it's almost an ah vowel instead of blood, how we normally say it. We crave a different kind of buzz. buzz. Let me be And then a little bit of vocal fry, which is uh, that sound. My friends and I, we've cracked the code. <laughs> we count our dollars on the train to the party. And everyone who knows us knows. Interesting. So sometimes he's doing no and keeping it open on that vowel, but there he's choosing no, whoa, whoa, adding a little kind of W in the center there. Now, he is keeping it quite simple, quite clean, just little nuances. His dynamics are great, though. He's starting very low, really telling the story. It's it's kind of almost spoken in a weird way. He's really just telling it, but then he really opens up to that big open vowel space on those choruses that gives it that oomph and presence. We're fine with this. We didn't come for money. A very good chord closure. You can hear his tone. I love his use of rhythm as well. 
He's really, it's the same as what Lord kind of does, but in our dreams, instead of Cadillacs in our dreams. It's not smooth, it's really, it's almost staccato, which means short. Dreams, but everybody's like crystal made back diamonds on your time. And then breaking up with slides and scoops. Here we go. Now he's going to like a breathy tone and a little bit of vocal fry again and because he's been so big that really means something when you come back oh whoa instead of like oh whoa the dynamics and the tone mean so much and something that's so simple he's not using unusual vowels in fact he's using very straight vowels very musical theater keeping him really open right until the end and only closing on the consonants right at the end of the note so you get this real freedom and clarity to his tone <sighs> and then he proved me wrong oh He's going through those vowels there to use a little bit of Lord style in there. Woo! Look how open he is. Oh. And watch like ruler, it isn't ruler, it's ruler. Really, really open. Oh, off he goes. I hadn't really given Puddles Petty Party the, the time to listen to him, but it's really, really solid singing and I get it, it's so, it's so interesting and bizarre and theatrical and wonderful. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please do like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.